Familia, welcome to another episode of Gostamos TV. I am your host, Servando Cadenas, and I'm here with my co-host from Chicago and Chicago Lighty. Victor and Lozano, welcome everybody, and we have our guest here. Come on. The world champion. The world champion. Judah, Judah Friedland. You know what? Yeah, let me correct myself. The world champion of the world. That's right. Judah Friedlander. I'm the greatest athlete in the world, greatest karate hero, and I'm here in Chicago with these good gentlemen at the Laugh Factory. And I'm having some damn good Mexican you food. What, what are you eating, bro? This is a chicken burrito with some extra refried beans, rice, more refried beans. <laughs> got uh, beans in the burrito and uh, got some guacamole in there, some lettuce and stuff. And guess what? No rice in the burrito. You know what they do in New York? New York Mexican food sucks, dude. I live in New York. New York's my home. I love it. Horrible Mexican, Mexican food. food. Over there. Now, when I was a little kid, I lived in San Diego. So I'm not Mexican. I lived in San Diego for 10 years, so I'm pretty familiar with Mexican food, and I've had good Mexican food, and New York sucks. And Chicago, I hate to say it, beats New York in Mexican food. Would you say better than any other place you ever had Mexican food? I don't know, but it's up there with San Diego. I'm not saying a lot. San you Diego's know, 10 minutes from, from uh, Mexico. You know what? We got to take you to uh, La Villita or Pilsen next time you're here. I'm down with that. Where is that? The biggest, uh, two of the it's biggest. Little Mexico. Is it in Southside? Yeah, Southside. Yeah. yeah. Two That's of the, the biggest Mexican is, right? uh, neighborhoods in the city. Yeah. Like real tortas. You have your tacos. You have your taqueros. You know, have yep. you ever had suadero? No. What is that? That's like. I don't even know what you said. <laughs> so maybe I did have it, but I don't even know what you said. But it sounds delicious. <laughs> no, it's like, it's, a, it's like steak, but it's like, like it's, it's better than steak. So we're gonna have to Let me throw this out and let's go get that right now, dude. Let's just go. <laughs> let's go to Southside right now. That let's sounds go, good. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, well, it's, uh, they have different places. They have like Los Comales. Oh, like, wow. Have you heard of that place? No, no, Comales? I don't know That's any places really popular. Here. You know what? Before we I've go, literally, I've literally walked into three Mexican places. No, today, not, not today alone? No, no, in the past two days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, uh, not chains. You know, just you know, mom and pop shops. Uh, you know, Mexican-owned places and. Uh, I didn't yelp it. I didn't get recommendations. I'm like hungry. I'm like, oh, Mexican food. I walked there and the food's been awesome. Nice. In New York, you cannot get refried beans. Yeah. It's whole beans and they're black beans. They don't have pinto beans and they don't, they don't mash them up. So, and then they always, when they get a burrito in New York, they put about five pounds of rice in the burrito and there's like two pieces of meat and then like uh, four beans. You know what? They're it cheap. They're, they're just being they cheap, suck. man. They suck, man. We're not, they don't, cheap. They don't, We're not and, cheap like that over here in Chicago, man. And they don't grill their tortilla at all. They just, they just either take it right out of a plastic bag and then put stuff in it and then wrap it up, or they'll like put it in a steamer for like 10 seconds. It's like Mexican Food Express, right? Yeah, yeah, it's terrible, it's terrible. Man, that sucks. When Chipotle is the best Mexican food in your city, the Mexican food mm. sucks, and that's New York, <laughs> and that's New York, you know? <laughs> you know what, you know what? good stuff, man. Let's talk a little bit about it yourself, all right? Uh, for those people- I'm fine happy talking Mexican food the whole time, <laughs> but if you wanna talk about me, I understand. You know, we're gonna start making this a talk, a food talk show. For yeah. the, for those regular, normal, everyday people out there yeah. that do not know who the world champion of the world is, yeah. can you tell them just real quick, but not too fast, because they yeah. might not understand yeah. who you really are? Basically, I'm the greatest karate hero in the world. The greatest athlete, the greatest lover. That's right, ladies. I'm the greatest lover in the world. Boyfriends, husbands, sorry. Ladies, yes, I'm here for you. And I'm a role model to children. Kids look up to me. How come? Why is that? Well, you know, when you're just a great athlete like myself, you know, scoring goals, scoring touchdowns, hooking up with cheerleaders, kids admire that. So now I see that great athletes eat Mexican burritos. Mm-hmm. With extra beans. Yeah, extra beans, dude. You got to <laughs> go for it. <laughs> what sports do you play? Every sport? Every sport. I'm the best, dude. <laughs> wow. I used to play for the Brazil national soccer team. And then what happened? Did they scored, kick you out? No, I scored 50 goals in one game. By yourself? I was the goalkeeper. I wasn't even trying to score, man. I'm good. What? Against your own team? No, against the other team. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Pele? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Great, that, greatest yeah. soccer player in the world. Yeah, it's my dad. Ever. That's my dad, dude. That's why I'm so good. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you, you, you can tell right away. I, I knew you looked familiar. You give me a soccer ball, dude. I'll show you some tricks. I'm good. You know what? I didn't bring my. I actually bring one with me, but uh, not today. Um, you came out with the book. Hear that crowd? They're cheering for me, and I'm not even on yet. <laughs> They're cheering for me just for eating Mexican food. That's how big <laughs> the, that champion, the, the world champion yeah. of the world is. Yeah, I'm an extra dark black belt in karate. Extra, extra dark, dark, black, dark belt. black belt. <laughs> if you guys don't know, now you know. Wow, I'm like really impressed yeah. right now. This is the safest 
place in the world right now because I'm here. So let's say if somebody was to come and attack you from behind you, what would you do? I just beat up four cops and then I walk right, right in. Right now? Yeah. Right, right after no. you got the Mexican food? Yeah, before I got the Mexican food, I beat up four cops. Yeah. <laughs> were, they were, were they, bad cops. Don't were, worry. Were they harassing you or something? No, I can tell they were corrupt, so I just messed them up. Well, and I donated yeah. their cop car to charity. Well, you know what? Actually, uh, a, a recent study so just came out saying that uh, Chicago is one of the most corrupt cities yeah, that, like, in, in the U.S. It is. I mean, it, you didn't it's, have it's got a mob and corrupt history. You know, Al Capone, you know, a lot of gangsters. You know? You know, you, I didn't have to tell you that because you already knew that. Yeah. Hold on. Are you related to them by any chance? No. No, no? I stand for justice. Oh, okay. Just wanted, I mean, you're the yeah. world champion yeah, yeah, of the yeah. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nope, I'm just related to uh, Pele. When, <laughs> when exactly did you become the world champion of the world? That's a good question. I'm not good at math, so I'm not sure what year it was, but I think it was in the 80s. When were you born? 80s? No, 60s. So pretty much it took you, it took you a few years to become the world champion? Yeah, the, the first few years were kind of rough. All right. World uh, champions come from tough beginnings. How come? Did you, did you grow up in a, you stronger, in a tough neighborhood? Mm-hmm. What can you say was your biggest competition getting to, to this big title? You know, I don't know. It's just, it's all been pretty easy. You know, I'm just much better at karate than everyone else. You know what, being the, the number one in the world, mm -hmm. is there a number two? Is there such a thing as a number two in the world? Or is there is, there number is. One? But they die every time they fight me, so. <laughs> so I, I don't know, you know. So there's no number two right now, because they're dead. <laughs> there is, but nobody cares who they are. Did you kill them? Or did you have someone? Yeah, but it was them? legal because it was in a karate death match. Okay. <laughs> death match. That's what the world championships are. I'm just karate letting everybody know that this guy right here is all fair, all fair game. You just competition. Pure yeah. Game. How yeah. often do you go to these championship games? Well, they're 50 times a year. 50 times a year. Yeah, it's not like the Olympics where it's once every four years. 50 times a year. Now, you participate in all 50 of them mm -hmm. every year. I mean, you get, yeah. you gotta have superhuman strength to do, do this. I do, man. Do you, do you use steroids? Who won't nope. tell? All natural. No, steroids were actually invented from me. They're so are, from my body. Are you telling me that what I'm looking at right now is all natural, mm -hmm. pure 100% muscle? Yep. I'll say it right to camera. I'm 100% natural, 100% steroid free. Are you flexing right now? No, it's illegal for me to flex in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> the cops, the cops and the, uh, the governor, they called and they said I'm not allowed to flex. What else are it you would not make allowed? ladies um, they, they get too excited. So what else are you not allowed to do? Like, do you have like certain cities where you can't do certain things? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, some cities I'm just banned from because I, I put off too much sexual energy. So. Wow. And what cities are those? I don't remember, but. <laughs> That's right. You don't have to remember. You don't have yeah. to know. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the ladies, uh, are you yeah. in a relationship right now? Do you no. have a special no. someone? Ladies, I'm here for you. If you need me, girls, I'm right behind you. Like literally, or just—I think you know what I'm talking okay. about here. <laughs> I just wanted to make that, mm -hmm. make that clear for everybody. You know what? There's an older guy out there right now who's getting a lot of attention. Uh, it's known in the tough streets of uh, the U.S. as the most interesting man in the world. Do you yeah. know this guy? Let me tell you about that old fart. Let me tell you something, dude. <laughs> I met him. I met the most interesting man. Boring. Compared boring to boring dude. Dude. Yeah. He was really depressed. Did you guys get to First of all, he was drunk. Out? He's always drinking beer. He was drunk. He tried to, uh, I saw him on the street. He was just asking random people for Viagra. It's like he can't get it up anymore. And, and you don't He was that. with two chicks. They left him, and yeah, they came to me. So it was just like, they're like, thank God, finally a real man. And yeah, it was just bad. And then, and then his back was hurting him. He kept complaining about back hurting. Yeah, he's an old dude. No. Did, he, did he have to do something? Did, did you beat him up by any chance, or did you just like, you looked at him and, and it was it? Yeah, I looked at him and he just fell down. Yeah. You know what, but I mean, um, you came out with a book about two years ago? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how, what how was the title? How to Beat Up Anybody, right? Exactly, yeah. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's an instructional karate book. You know, I come in peace. Even though I'm a lethal weapon, I come in right, peace. Right. And it's a book for any level, no matter if you're a beginner or a black belt. It's the greatest instructional karate book in history. I teach you how to beat up uh, Bigfoots, Chupacabras, <laughs> um, everything. Dinosaurs, ninjas, everything. That's Dinosaurs? Yeah. Is they an H? Well, you know, there are, you know, time warps and things like that where dinosaurs could sneak through and, and come out, so. Well, you, men you mentioned chupacabras. Have you ever seen one? I mean, yeah. they're just yeah. mythical creatures. No, they, they're real. They're real. Um, 
you beat one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I teach you how to do it in my book. They're really not that dangerous. You know, and oh. most of them are friendly. They're oh. Most of them aren't that bad. Where did you get inspiration to, to come out with this book? Did you did you go to uh, a sensei? Did you go to a uh, karate Good master question. or something? Well, I actually uh, I used to be in, in uh, prison in China, and I learned karate from the other inmates. So I was 14, and I was in federal prison in Beijing, China. Why? Uh, uh, it was for some crimes I never committed. I'm innocent. Uh, I'm not guilty of it. I'm innocent. Okay? I didn't do it. You know what, just I'm by innocent. looking at you, the way you're looking at me, I know you're innocent. Yeah, I'm innocent. I, I can exactly. sense it. You don't, you, don't, you don't even have to repeat it. Thank you. I can sense Thank it. You. I appreciate the love. Just keep it like that. We want, I mean, I want my co-host here with me, so I just don't want any dangerous scenes or anything He's like cool. that. You're All cool right, too, cool. man. You guys are good <laughs> people. Another thing, I actually yeah. wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. did you give out the rights for Lady Gaga to use your name in her song? She uses it a lot. Judah, I mean, <clears throat> what are Excuse you Don't choke, man. Don't choke. It's, all, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bro. I think part of that chicken's still alive in there, but it's good. It's good for you. What is the incentives is she giving you? Or, I mean, are you taking this to trial? Or what's going on with that? Yeah, you know, Lady Gaga has a thing for me. So, yeah, she wrote a song about me. And whatever. I'm a trillionaire. You know, if she wants to make some money and do that, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. All right, I just wanted to tell I me mean, because it's your name. Yeah. It's true. She wants me. You can't blame her, dude. I'm a sex symbol, you know. Chicks dig me, and Lady Gaga's no exception. Have you seen her, talked to her ever since that one night? I saw her once, but I wasn't that into her, really, you know, so it's all right. <laughs> well, there you go. Is she, is she not good enough for you? She's actually really good in bed, but, you know, she's a little, <laughs> she's a little too into herself, you know. She's was she always staring at herself? or? Nah, nah she was always reading. Uh, a little selfish? Yeah, you know, she was always watching Madonna YouTube videos so she could learn how to dance, so. <laughs> It was a little annoying. But Did you have any little monsters or anything? Did you guys create? <laughs> I got a big monster. I don't have a little monster, dude. This monster's huge. Huge. That's why she dumped me, dude. I got a big monster. She didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> she couldn't handle you, bro. <laughs> You're too much for any girl. Yeah. You know what? Looking at your hat, bro, it's pretty interesting. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you make your own hats, right? On 30 Rock, I made all my hats. Oh. These, this, was given to me by the World Championship Committee. Actually, this is in Braille, and it says World Championship. How come? All the last World Championships were in Korea. And they were going to make it in Korean, but my karate kicks were so fast, they blinded all the judges, so they made it in Braille. And You're on the that. side is USA, because I'm American. So the front, the language, indicates the country where the World Championships took place, and the side is where the World Champion's from. Well, at least uh, we know that someone blind who has admired you can actually hold on to the hat yeah. and read it. Yeah, I, I care mean. about blind people. Well, I did the David Letterman show, wow. and they wouldn't let me wear this hat because they thought it might be offensive to blind people. I'm like, if anything, it's, it's inclusive of blind people, you know? And how would they know? I mean, uh, they're not literally, like, I holding know. it and touching it, right? They're out of their minds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't allowed to wear it? Yeah, I had to wear a different hat. So I wore, a hat, uh, I wore my uh, Spanish hat. El campeón del mundo. Campeón del mundo. Yeah. Where is it? Did you bring it with you today? Not today. Not today. Do you carry a lot of hats with you everywhere you go? Or just I always carry have one. Some. I always have some. Yeah. Okay. I always have to have a backup hat. Are you gonna Are you gonna continue making your own hats or not anymore? Mm -hmm. I have a few ones coming out. Um, do you actually make them yourself, or do you design them? No, these I get from the World Championships. <laughs> the ones I wore in Thirty Rock. Yes, I make all those. Are you well, I was Any hat that says world champion, I want it at the world it's championship. It's an official. Yeah, then if it like this one. But any other hat I wear, yes, I make those myself. Are you going to continue making yeah. the hats? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We have a request. Would you okay. be willing to make a hat? I might with be able to do that. <laughs> with our logo in it. And, I might uh, be able to do that. Can you write on top, uh, can you write the hashtag and they put muy badass on it? I like that. You know what that means? You Very know badass. Oh, man. You so, you said Spanish. Hashtag. Yep. And here I am. And hashtag is bilingual. <laughs> you know what? Let me, let me give you our little logo before I forget. And you got to promise that you're going to wear it somewhere where people can see it. Oh, this is good stuff. Representing, guys. All right. Oh, cool. That's a good logo, man. I like that. So whenever, whenever you design that hat, make sure you put it somewhere around. I there like that. And not uh, tag us. Put that in my know. secret pocket. Of course, man. Do you have secret yep. pockets? You don't need to have secret pockets, man. Yeah, I just like to play around, though. You know. 
<laughs> Just so we can feel normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, as you're talking about um, 30 Rock, um, how, how are you doing that? Like, it's for the upcoming season, or what's going on with, with 30 Rock? It's done. We just finished taping forever. Show's over. And um, uh, did it for six years, six and a half years, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, now there's more time for stand-up comedy and karate, so I'm happy. Now, do you prefer, like, well, you know, being on TV or more, like, being with a live audience? Live audience, live yeah. Audience yeah stand-up's always been my favorite thing, and I've been doing that the longest, so. And even when I was doing 30 Rock, I'd do stand-up all the time, but now it's, um, I have even more time to do it, is which it is like awesome. Is more natural for you to do, mm. like, stand-up yeah. comedy than, like, it's having more fun, a too. Or yeah, yeah, I get to say my own words. Yeah, and then also in TV and movie filming, there's a lot of waiting around. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting. When you're doing stand-up, it's all action. It's more fun. It, it's all you, right? You yeah. and the audience. That's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you ever censor yourself when you're on stage? Um. No. The only thing I censor is, do I like what I'm doing? Yeah. The, but yeah, you know, anything's possible. But yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> you know what? I'm Very glad. I've seen a lot of your interviews, and uh, you do rate the questions that uh, the people make to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it actually makes me feel really good. Uh, we have a, a, a quick list of questions that, uh, okay. you know. Yeah, because i got to go do a show soon. Yeah, Let's I know. I know. It's, all, it's almost time. It's only going to take, no. take us a few minutes. Let's do maybe, it. Maybe, maybe a couple uh, of minutes. Let's do it. call, like, the very, very important questions that I'm ready. fans, everybody who I'm ready. you on Twitter, Facebook, wants to know. So... Let's see. Let's start. Man, you were thirsty. <coughs> you know what? Since you like Mexican food, how come you don't drink uh, jarritos? You don't like them? No, I do like those. Those are very good. Next time, next time you're here, let us know, and we'll bring you a case you got of the jarritos. orange color, the yellow greenish color, all of them, and, all of them. and the pink color. All of them. Yeah, don't worry. Good. We got you, all right? Yeah, those, those are all good. Right. So real quick. Yeah, I'm ready. Because you, you have to go. You have to go. You, yep. You, you have a show to do. So all right. It's like um, 50,000 hot chicks in that audience, man. They need me. <laughs> Smart water or Fiji water? Neither, man. No water for you? No water? Just straight up water, man. <laughs> tap from the tap? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pan dulce or glazed donut? What was the first one? Mexican bread. Yeah, traditional Mexican bread. So, yeah. Oh, really? We yeah. sweet bread. Have you ever had it? I've had churros. All right. Yeah, churros, yeah, we'll, we'll give, it we'll it give you, you that. But you know what? I'm telling you, bro. Next time you're here, you got to I'll have that. We'll, Dude, we'll I would you, love we'll to go. take you to the I love going. Like, I live in Queens. One of the reasons I live in Queens is because that's where people from all over the world live. And so you get the real food. You know, you don't get the gentrified food. Yeah, exactly. You know, like when I go to a Thai place in Queens, it's all Thai people eating there. When they right. serve me food, I'm like, don't white it up for me, dude. Make it the way you like it. <laughs> Make it don't original, give, right? Yeah, don't give me the white version of it. Make it <laughs> spicy. Make it Thai spicy, you know. So, yeah, I, right. that'd be great. I'd love that. American Idol or X Factor? Let's go with America on this one. American right. Idol. Charming or Angel Soft? Oh, that's Charming. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. It tough. Una Latina or an American? Oh, I'll go with a Latina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you already like, I'm not even going to ask you this because you uh-huh. already answered. Okay. Because I don't say Chipotle or Cadoba, but Mexican food. Oh, yeah, yeah. Original. Mexican. Or yeah, original. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, right. let me ask you this. Black coffee or extra dark coffee? I don't do coffee. I don't do any caffeine. No drugs All natural. All. all natural, dude. Wow. No all drugs. Natural. Wow. Yep. Now, this is caffeine free. Yep. Do you speak any other languages? I know. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> do you, do you when ever, I go to other countries, do they you ever all learn pretend? English. They all learn English <laughs> just because they want to talk to me. <laughs> just by looking at you, they, they, yeah. they learn it. Yeah, they just <laughs> learn it, man. So it's pretty exciting. You know what? Being the awesome international rock star and uh, world champion of the world that you are, if you had to fight against a professional wrestler, who mm. would that be? I would take on uh, Cena, Ziggler, Big Show, all at once, man. And I'd make them all tap out at the same time. How about The Rock? Yeah, The Rock, too. You can throw him in there, too. Yeah. He's a movie star. I don't consider him a wrestler anymore, dude. You're a movie star, too. Can we I know. Johnny and Logan, can we expect to see you yeah. in movies now? I'm banned from action films in Hollywood. It's too dangerous. <laughs> you're, too mu- you're, you're too much for uh, the Yeah, it's screen. too much, dude. Come on. That's soft <laughs> stuff, man. <laughs> All right, bro, I know you have to go. And yep. uh, can you tell our fans or yeah. our, our amigos, uh, how can they follow you on uh, social media yeah. networks? Well, 
It's judahfriedlander.com. If you can't spell that, it's worldchampionoftheworld.com or Judah Champ. No, scratch that. Not Judah Champ. Judah World Champ. I'm the World Champ. So it's J-U-D-A-H World Champ on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. The one and only World Champion. And you know what? Thank you. I mean, for having us, for giving us this interview. Because I mean, I know you're very important. You have a big show. You guys are good men. Muchas gracias. Good men. It's been Thank awesome. You. Been awesome. All right, familia. This is it for us. Gozamos TV. I'm Servando Cadenas. Victor Lozano. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Peace. Desde Lab Factory, Chicago.